Hey guys, welcome back to another Day R Survival. And I'm still, I am still at Novo Kuznets. And the reason being is because, remember I told you guys that I'm not sure whether to use the car or the van, right? So I'm thinking now, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to leave my Kras 255 and built another car. Yes. I think I'm going to build the UAZ 452 in order to use up all my gasoline. Right? Because I don't want to waste my diesel going back and forth. It I might need it for my future going east. So I'm going to build that. But before that, let me just show you what I've done so far in my base. So I built a couple of of, of, uh, of things. I actually built a greenhouse, three of them. Two are for corn, and the other one is for the strawberry. And all these things I've collected so far. Um, uh, I, yeah, I I actually been killing a lot of animals, and I stopped cooking them because they've been they've been giving me a lot of sickness. So I stopped eating that, and that's why they're rotten meat. And um, what else have I done so far? I collected a lot of bullets, a lot of guns, the SVD. There's a lot of them, actually. Uh, I actually got this gun by actually doing this. Going to the Mosin Nagant rifle, and then right here, make. And then I can make the sawed-off shotgun. So these are some of the items that I've gotten so far. These I haven't. I decided just to leave it be, so that just in case if there's an upgrade, maybe I can use that. All right. So I got everything ready to go uh, to build my. What is it called again? The UAZ 452. It's in this city. So uh, let's go here. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I want to use that car instead of uh, the one that I have right now and use my bicycle, my motorcycle, to collect items. I think that'll save me a lot of gasoline. Okay, so let's disassemble this UAZ 452. Let's build it. I got everything ready to go. Yep. And uh, there we go, 452, ready to go. Okay, where is it at? Oh, it's in my inventory. So let's use it up. Okay, we still have some extra load. I think on the way, maybe we can collect some items. Can we? No, all these are all gone, right? Oh, except this right here. We could always need some more bricks. Yeah, I've um I looted all of the surrounding cities and towns of Novo Kuznets, as you can tell before I head west. Okay, so let's go back. Actually, wanted to see if I can collect any more items, cause you know me, I am a pack rat. Okay, let's go back anyways. Okay, so we're back. Just drop all these unnecessary items. I'm going to collect uh, some of these items heading west. And I'm going to leave my Kras 255 and my diesel so that I won't be heavy loaded. Alright, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, You know what? I've decided I actually forgot that. I want to show you something. I got an apple up north from one of these uh, survivor base and they had a trader. So I traded some uh, something for the apple. So let's let's make it. You know what? Let's make the greenhouse. Let's grow some apples. So when we come back, they'll be ready. And I think I have everything ready to go to make the greenhouse. So let's just check. Yeah, let's make that. 
we got that done and let's build it so that we can grow the apples because we already have the corn and the strawberries and eventually we can make some of the uh, the whiskey and, and all that stuff all right so I got my greenhouse let's plant some apples so it just requires 10 apples to grow all right let's do that and I think it should be done now voila we got ourselves a greenhouse growing apples growing corn and strawberries so now I'm thinking of going back up actually uh, going back up here because that's my other base and next to it is the trader that provides us the apples so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna just you know what I'm just gonna use my crafts to, to just transfer everything back over there so I got in, so I can get enough supplies to make myself another greenhouse so let's do that all right guys so we are in Novosibirsk let's go to the survivor base talk to the uh, trader and let's trade some of our prepared skin for the 10 apples let's get 10 apples all right let's go back and start planning it okay let's go in here there we go and plant some apples that should be it so my goal is to have like greenhouses all along the the main roads so that i can always pick up some of these apples along the way when i go back and forth to do the quest so it'll take four months and I think that should be it. I'm going to head west uh, to finish our uh, quest. All right, so we are nearing Chilayabinsk. And let's go to... Oh, we're getting, getting attacked, huh? Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to... They're not even worth it right now. So let's just... Let's pick something that's easy. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. Um, pretty sure they're not that hard. Snipe one of them. And one more. There we go. And then our doggy should be should be good taking care of them. More should no. Really? There we go. Well, that was unnecessary, and I think I have to carry them in order to not have any markers on it. Damn it. Hmm. Can I not carry them? I think I have to bury them. I don't have firewood. Uh, that's not good. Oh well. Okay. So we're back at our old base that we made way, way back. So let's just check it out. Ooh, look at this. Our moonshine is finished. So let's uncork that. And let's see what it has. It gave us 46 moonshine. Radiation 6, energy 6, health 2. That's not very good. And it gives us 1% blindness. Um, yeah, that's not worth it. So, hmm. Actually, let's sleep and get our energy up. All right, so we're fully awake, fully energized. And let's just check out the survivor base in here because we need to check it out to find this one guy. So let's see if the local leader has anything for us. No, she doesn't have anything. 
the vet. Oh, I think we needed the vet. Uh, you're back already. How's it going? This girl can help you. She used to teach German. There we go. Nice to meet you, miss. Thank you for your help. Anna, would you let me show you the instructions right now? So we got that complete. Uh, we actually need the vet for something. How would I help you? The people of Petrov Povlovsk need your help. There's some strange sickness on their hen farm. Well, it seems like I should go to Petrov Povlovsk. I'll pack my medicine chest. Let's go. So we got him for Petro. I should just talk to the vet. You look pensive. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about my future. And what about you? Did you always work as a vet? Yes. I was working on the farm. It was big, prosperous farm, so I always had work to do. When the people started to get sick, there was precious few of us left on the farm. Our work got harder, and then I was forced to go to the hospital to help. I said I wasn't a real doctor, I was just a vet. I had to continue the work of our farm. But they made me to help our doctors in the hospital. Of course, I couldn't treat the patients. I did the work of a nurse, an elderly, even a cleaner at times. It was a horrible time. We never knew who was next. The very best doctors in our hospital were just gone. There were only about 10 people left. I was lucky somehow. Maybe somebody needs me. Now I'm a veterinarian. Just like before. Unfortunately, I have the chance to do the work I love in the new world. Oh, fortunately. And what about your family? Have you got children? I have a son called Vlad. He lived far away in Moscow. I haven't had any news of him since the start of the disaster. I hold on to the hope that I will see him again. Maybe he found shelter at the, one of the other bases. When we get to Petrov Polov, I'll ask people on the base if they know of my son. You never know, eh? Do you know we'll, we'll be able to restore our natural environment and our life? Listen to me, boy. People are capable of whatever they set their mind to. We were able to destroy our world so we can rebuild it. If you take care of the natural environment, we'll be reborn and buried in fruits for you. And so the people will reborn. You have to work hard, real hard. And you need to work on yourself too, or you'll end up losing your mind just like those bandits. Staying human, that's what's most important. Alright, so let's go then. Well, that's a very touching, personal conversation with the vet. I like him. Maybe I could help him find his son. Oh, his name is Vlad. Alright, let's go to the teacher. No, we already talked to her, so we're completed with that one. Let's go to the Kugel's apartment. Oh, look at this. The frown faces of uh, Luba Kugel? Liuba. I'll call her Liuba. The Kugels lived on the first floor of the five story block. A very stout woman opened the door to me. She had a fierce expression on her face. Yeah, you don't say. Look at her face. Back again? Get out of here, you damn drunk. We had enough. For the last time, I'm telling you. He's not going anywhere. Wait, you got me confused with somebody else. I'm here to see your husband. I know you're here. To get drunk and roar and shout. That's what you're here for. So, are you going to leave? Or do you need help? I can do it. I'll help you. A much smaller man peers from behind a large woman. He has an, he has an intelligent but careworn face. <laughs> behind every woman is a weak man. Okay, so... Libya, ho hold on. I don't know him. He's not from the settlement. So this is Spiridon Kugel. The one that uh, the leader told about. He's kind of skinny. Oh, now I believe it. He doesn't know you either. Do you take me for a fool again? Liuba Kugo gave her husband a sharp slap. <laughs> I guess I guess we know who wears a pant in this relationship, right? Hey, don't hit him. He's telling the truth. I'm here on business. I need help. 
Help? What good is he to anyone? The drunkard? None at all. He just sits in the house. Spiridon, get back to the kitchen. <laughs> I make her a sandwich. What, what do you mean? What good am I? The country always needs good engineers. I even have a certificate of thanks from the original party committee. The wife slaps her husband again, hard enough to make him cry out. There's your, there's your help. There's your thanks. And you can F off, you bastard. You swine. He's ruined my whole life. I gave him the best years of my life. My mother was right. God rest her soul. I should have married Pitchkin. Then maybe you would have drunk yourself to death. Liuba slammed the door, shutting herself in the kitchen. Sparadon and Kugo frowned at me. She's been on edge since the morning of our some, some reason. You know what? Tell our guys that I won't be coming out today. I can't... You can, you can see for yourself. I will tomorrow for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. I really do need your help. I need to find and assemble something in Ufa. Well, I just thought you remind me of an old pal of mine. Wait, wait a minute. What do you say? Ufa? It's full of bees. No way. I'm not carting myself off to Ufa. I still want to live. Go find another dummy. And where will I find another army engineer? Well, forgive me. My Liuba, she's no ray of sunshine, but there's only one of her. And there's plenty of bees. I won't be going to Ufa. No way. Alright, let's see what we... Give him vodka? Or... Man let's try to manipulate him. Pity. Looks like Boris was right. You're getting old, engineer. Boris who? What about... What was he right about? Boris, the major from Stepnoy. We were arguing over whether Kugel, the engineer who received official recognition from the regional committee, would be capable of building an anti-tank missile system. And Boris said that you would have lost your tough... You're touched long ago. Missile? Right? What? I can repair a tank with my eyes shut. I was even invited to Sverver... Sververadon? Sververadvinsk to help the nuclear submarine. That was a long time ago, comrade. Age. Drink. Nonsense. You can't lose a craft. And in my field, age is an advantage. You look at the young ones today. They're just ham-fisted chimps. A lot of them. Get ready. We're going to Ufa. To Ufa? Fine. Whatever you say. Ah, I guess we tricked him into following us without giving him some more vodka. That's good. Alright, so I think... Well, let's check out the trader. What can he offer us? Oops. Let's go back to the trader. And let's see what you can offer. 10 spark plug for one cement, electric cable, electrode, one battery. Hmm. I actually need that battery though, but I don't have chlor chlorostamine. Car battery for 50 moonshines. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, let's leave. So we need to go to somewhere around here. I don't know where that is. But actually, you know what? Let's go up here. Maybe there's something up here, right? I'm guessing. So let's say first. And let's check out Sweat Lost. I know we needed to do something over there, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe some chickens or something, right? I think. Because I know they had chickens over there in, in that in that area. Okay. Let's check it out. Go to the sum. Did you bring the details? No, I don't think I have the details for him yet. I don't know what I needed to bring for the details. Okay. Radio technician? No. Oh. Yeah, I guess nothing here. Alright, 
So I'm guessing I am gonna go to this area for my next video. So um, I guess I'm gonna call it a I'm gonna call it a video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video in this area. Um, all right. So I'll see you guys next time.